Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, which is up to that day. And today's particular video, as you guys have seen, we're going to be talking about the question of what next. Um, what to do when people start asking you the question, how to personally prepare for the question, basically, how to be ready for what next questions. Basically, if you're in university, if you're about to finish, when you're in your level, if you're currently undergoing NYSC, if you're about to pass out from NYSC, I'm sure you've probably been already hearing what next questions. People are already asking you what your plans are, um, if you're in a certification course like accounting, banking and finance courses where it's kind of it's kind of optional not really to write your professional exams this is yeah that is my point of view right now for this so if you want to know all about how i personally deal with the question of what next keep on watching and share this with your friends family and like all right so jumping straight in my very first tip for you guys which is what i live by the main thing that you need to learn how to do is how to ignore people how to turn a blind eye deaf ear, whatever it takes, like if they're sending you messages, how to not see the messages, if they're calling you, how to not pick, if they're like meeting you in person and you have no choice but to listen to them, how to just tune them out because honestly baby, they are going to talk, people are going to talk, people are always going to talk, that is just one thing that you have to just understand, like you can't even just say, oh nobody's going to talk to me, trust me, the amount of pressure, like see, let me just say it like this, my family members, don't even give a fuck <laughs> most of them i'm pretty sure like there's people in my family that don't even know like extended family obviously i don't even know what i'm currently doing in my life but it's those people that are not related to you people that you don't know like it's like people that know your parents that don't even know you personally that you don't even talk to personally those are the people that have opinions the people, those are the people that will be pressurizing your parents to pressurize you people in the church people on your streets people assume so much about your life that like if you personally do not have what you want to do like, and then it's okay to not know what you want to do that's like something that parents everybody needs to encourage people to understand and to accept in all honesty yeah you just have to you just have to learn how to ignore people the second thing is personally something that i've started doing for the past four five months is planning like yeah you don't have to make any efforts you don't have to make any moves you don't have to submit any cvs but doing research like if you have interest in something like let me say you studied banking and finance or something business administration but then you see that you have an interest in graphics you have an interest in something entirely different do research in those different areas and like see what it's like see what certifications they need see how like easy it is to like learn and divert from your course because there's some people so there's some there's some areas that you actually have to have a degree related to those um to those areas before you can actually work there so like do you have to do a master's you can you get a certification course course error is your best friend honestly you can get like you can use one month and like if you're not doing anything else and that is the only thing you're doing you can use one month to finish a course of six months my co-worker did it right there in my office like where i work um where i do nysd my co-worker did it and she did a prem a course on project management and has gotten a certificate so yeah like use up your time plan up if you if you feel like after nys you're after school you want to go straight to your masters if you're looking for scholarships start looking for scholarships while you're in school because they have deadlines like all these schools have um they have deadlines for their own registration if you're doing registering in school that's outside the country find out their requirements if you need referral letters oh my god reference letters has made me lose out on some opportunities i'm not even gonna kid you right now reference letters because like and I, now i just remember that i'm supposed to have let messing my lecturer because i've been so busy with so many things and i've not been having like the time i called like they'll be telling me okay they'll do it they've sent it to my email they've not sent it to my email going back and forth if you have somebody in school that you can call call them get the reference data if possible before you leave school if you're still a student get it and have it like see it doesn't get outdated because they don't put date on it they just put they just adjust it to whom it may concern they don't need to put any dates for any school get a reference letter from your lecturers lecturers they are close to get reference letters from them and just have it in your archive so that when you need it you can be able to use it okay okay i have planned even if yeah it's not like the plans are like bringing forth fruits but like still plan it helps you to be able to see oh yeah i've done my research like i swear if you're planning to divert like i said like how do your research so that when people are asking you questions especially people that want to be like help you or people that like person that will be positively beneficial to you you'll be able to tell them oh this is what i've like this is my research what i've done this is what i know um i'm still like vague in this kind of area like if you know anybody that's in that area like, you can ask questions it is fine to ask questions next thing 
honestly is to do what makes you happy so leaving off from planning like i said you can plan if you want if you have interest in graphics design and you study business management there is nothing that's stopping you from diverting to graphics design because every business needs a graphic designer there's different areas in businesses so yeah you can always divert to do what makes you happy because see serving for 12 years or 10 years in an organization where you're not happy just doing the day-to-day -day things that just like you're just literally living like a robot is, is going to wear you down it's going to make you grow older faster because you're just frustrated and you're just frustrated literally just working for money is not see money is not everything money is not everything i kid you not like yeah it's good to have money a six-figure job to stand in an office with ac it's cool and calm but like if you're depressed in that office <laughs> that money is just going to go into therapy at the end of the day when you, when you grow older so yeah just do what makes you happy try to find what makes you happy try to find what try to find what comes easy to you this is something that i still haven't found out um but like something that is easy for you to do like now okay i can say that video editing is very very easy for me like it's something that the way i just flowed into it <laughs> it's crazy but yeah find what like is easy for you to that you can just sit down here or something that's easy for you to learn like just do something that you can easily flow into it will help you a lot third thing or fourth thing i don't know what number this is is if you want a break if you feel like you need a break take it take a break um personally i could say that i took a break during NYSC from academics, I did not do I can anything. I did not do school anything. I was focused on work. Even if yeah, the work was so hectic to the point where I don't even think I would have been able to do I can and do the work at the same time because I did not. I underestimated school work. Honestly, I underestimated it so much. But yeah, if you need a break, even even after NYSC, if you feel like I need a break from this to like think and know what I want, take a break. And during that break, I would advise. This is like it bonus tip or whatever learn a trade um it could be something like tailoring makeup baking um by the time period like this now everybody they make cake everybody they make money because like cake is like one of the major things people get for valentine so like if you learn how to make cakes like there's always going to be weddings learn how to sew learn how to do makeup if you're a student learn how to do makeup it can help you in school like for dinners and all of that like just see take a break and tell them that you want to learn a trade they would think you actually like they won't know that see people they might not know that it's a break but like you know it's a break because yeah the time you're using to learn actually at least take it pick a trade that you like that you have interest in so that it doesn't feel like work too okay so you pick something you're interested in so that it doesn't feel like work but at the same time you're taking a break mentally from school and everything and you're thinking like okay yeah learning this trade now you might decide that oh okay i want to go full-time into business i want to be a businesswoman i want to open a shop i want to have people working under me that is fine. There are people that do that and there are people that have made millions from that. Do you know? So yeah, it's like, see, with every, not everybody has to have a corporate job to be a billionaire. That is what everyone needs to understand. You don't have to have a corporate job to be a billionaire. So, and then last but not the least, it is okay to experiment with different sectors and areas. For example, looking at myself, for example, um, accounting is a very... I don't see it. Accounting, accounting is broad. Accounting is very broad. Um, there's auditing, there's tax, there's um, um, assurance. Like there's different areas to accounting, and then there's the accounting, accounting itself. Um, there are different sections, and it's like sometimes we don't even get taught. Like we don't get advice about the different we don't get advice about the different parts of accounting or the sectors of accounting and we're just like oh accounting go and study accounting or we just go to accounting and then you graduate and then you go to maybe you're applying for a job or you see pwc for example pwc currently is um um taking students okay so if this goes out before it's over i'm going to put the link in the description for anybody that's interested so pwc is currently um what do they call it what this is what they say um uh <laughs> I don't know, they shall like um uh they shall get one internship with the with the one start. <laughs> so I don't know the English. So yeah, but it's, it's there's an internship that's um that they're currently trying to run and then they're like looking for people to um apply. Um hey, they're looking for applicants for internship, but what for <laughs> but yeah, currently and then you can see um there's the tax and um tax, there's tax and something and then there's um advisory there's assurance but then like and then it's like oh me it's just like pwc accounting firm i'm applying and then it's like okay what's well, what which sector do i'm like uh-huh <laughs> 
I'm like, huh? Like, I don't understand what you, what, what do you mean by which sector? Like, PWC, no, accounting. I'm like, no, there's like tax, there's this, there's that. I'm like, mm, okay. So I really don't know which one I know. I don't know which one I prefer. I don't know which one I like. I've never worked in anyone. The only place that I've actually really worked in is auditing. That's the only place that, because that was where I did my internship in school. But like, yeah, I, I've never worked in tax. So I don't know what tax feels like. I've never worked in accounts. So I don't know what accounts is like. So it's like, how do you expect me to pick which one I want to go into for the next possible five years when I don't even have experience? So if possible, while in school, if you're sitting in school and you're watching this video, I beg you, and your account students, every single um, summer break, if you're at home, just do an internship. It helps you because one, it counts towards your um, years of experience, which you can use towards, you can count towards ICANN certification and ACT certification also. Um, and also it helps you to like experiment. So you can do um, maybe your second, your 200 level. Um, so there's only three summer breaks actually. Your 100 level summer break, you can do it in accounting. Um, 200 level, you can do it in um, auditing. 400 level, 300 level, sorry, you can do it in tax. And then you can just like, kind of like feel, that's, that gives you like a feeler. You can like feel what each sector is like and then pick which one you like. Which one you prefer, which one you feel is more comfortable for you, which one comes naturally to you. So if you're able to gain one or two things from this video, don't forget to share it to your friends and family. Even if you did not gain something, somebody else might gain. So please share with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Um, what can I do when a million things are running?